Hey Google admins, welcome back. This is Goldie again. In the last video, we discussed the overview of the Google Workspace Frontline Worker SKU and how it can uh, help you, especially if you have the uh, Frontline Worker kind of use case. In this video, let's talk about the Frontline Worker SKU eligibility because it, it will cost you less, of course, but it shouldn't be uh, treated as a way to pay less and should be able to use Google Workspace, Gmail, Drive, etc. So for that, it's better to just go to the source, which is Google's uh, page itself, and uh, look at the eligibility requirements. Okay, so the first one, it says providing services, support and selling products in direct contact or with customers or the general public. So that can be, you know, recently somebody came uh, from the utility company uh, to our house, you know, with the bill saying, you know, he can help us reduce our bill. So that's a, that's a good example where this person was actually, you know, uh, what in direct contact with us providing services. It's a good example of frontline worker. The second one is directly involved in the manufacturing. Now, these workers or these users may not be working directly in contact with the customer, but they are working in manufacturing or other plants to produce, you know, goods or services, not in the office like a knowledge worker. Okay, so they should uh, make up majority of your workspace uh, workforce and rely on speed and collaboration to get job done. Google has also given some examples like manufacturing assembly workers, restaurant hospitality and retail workers, construction workers, people who work in call center and transportation, etc. Okay, now here it is stated very, very clearly that it is exclusively limited to the use cases or the criteria mentioned above. Google may restrict an organization's access to the frontline edition if, in its reasonable discretion, Google determines that ineligible workers have licenses. Before we move ahead and cover the rest of the videos on how to manage Google Workspace licenses in different scenarios, I just wanted to put light on this because you, as a as a Google Workspace admin for your organization, must understand this and uh, make sure that you validate the use case before assigning the Google Workspace Frontline license to your to your user uh, to make sure that you are you know, not violating Google's terms of uh, use or terms of licensing. Okay, see you in the next video. In the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video, and I'll be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much. <laughs>